My name is Moroboshi. I'm the head of the Moroboshi Group, one of the world's leading conglomerates. My hobby is business. I also happen to be a doctor and a scientist. Moro 5. Prepare for visualization. Love. Okay, now show me. The face of the person I kissed yesterday. Yes, I think I like that. Yes, I'm the mastermind who caused all those visualization phenomena in recent years. Now, let's try this new visualization phenomenon. This will be very interesting. My name is Rio. I'm currently a university student. I've always been a bit shy and not too talkative, but I figured once I get into college, well, things would change. But, turns out, an uncommunicative guy like this never changes and will always be treated the same. Guys who can join others with ease are people who already have that type of outgoing personality. I've always been like this, so I wouldn't even know the first thing about starting a conversation. So, shy in high school, shy in college. To be honest, my lack of confidence has gotten worse. I'm more insecure than ever. Oh well, playing games at home alone isn't too bad. One day. Man, I gotta say, the other day, I kissed this really cute babe. Yeah, really? Man, you always get the chicks. So, that's your new girlfriend? Well, when I kissed her, she was not my girlfriend, but... But once I kissed her, well, <laughs> she begged to be my girlfriend. Ah, that's cool! So you're a super kisser, huh? <laughs> wow, a kiss? And I've never even held hands with a girl. How pathetic. Hey, Rio. Any kissing for you lately? Kiss? Uh, me? Yeah, it's spring, bro. The season for love, my friend. Man, you gotta do some kissing. It just doesn't feel like spring if you don't. No, sorry to say, never got the chance. Ah, never kissed before? Seriously? What? Unbelievable, man. Man, you really are a prude. Yeah, come to think of it, there probably is not a girl around that would want to kiss a timid guy like you, that's for sure. Holy moly, never kissed, huh? You're missing out on a lot, buddy. That's Hayato, an old buddy from my high school days. He's always made fun of me. Come to think of it, the reason why I was not able to change to overcome my shyness is because we're attending the same university. I purposely chose this little known out of the way college so I could get away and start anew, but for some reason, he chose the same university as me. For a guy like me, to have someone you know from the old days it can be devastating. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Nothing I can do. Then one day... <sighs> Darn it! Take that, you idiot! Yeah, I win! That's what I'm talking about! Man, I can't get enough of this game! Super fun! Huh? Who could that be? Hello? Uh, who is this? Hello? Hey, Rio! Hey man, I sent you the address to the shop we're at. We don't have enough people for the party. Get over here right now. You can meet some girls, bro. Ugh, no way! Besides, I'm busy now. Busy? Bet you're just playing a game. Get over here! If you're not here within 30 minutes, you pay for the whole party. Now get your ass over here, you idiot! Huh? Wait, uh, huh? Damn it, always so pushy. The guy has not changed one bit. He was always like this in high school. But I have to do this, or else there will be trouble later on. I don't want that. Uh, 30 minutes, huh? I'm not sure if I'm even gonna make it. Uh, why do I even have to go to this matchmaking party set up by Hayato? Besides, embarrassed to say, this is the first time I've been to this kind of party. Finally here, huh? Took you long enough. Get in here. Hey, isn't this guy a bit shabby? Yeah, not cool. Definitely not my type, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, this guy's been really shy and no fun for as long as I can remember. Anytime he has any free time, he's always playing those stupid computer games. Huh? Seriously? N not one of those otaku homely nerdy types, is he? Well, I was expecting this, but 
Right when I get here? I mean, I can understand it gradually building, but right off the bat? Why did he even invite me? Just as a punching bag? I figured I would not be able to stand this and need some booze to ease my pain. I decided to drink till I was totally smashed. Ugh, bring on more of that sake, woman! Just bring the whole bottle, would you? Yes, sir, right away. From that point on, I don't remember a thing. When I came to, I was in my own bed. Uh, am I at home? How did I even get home? I know that Hayato called me to the party, and then I remember drinking like crazy. That much I remember, but as I was racking my brain about the previous night, suddenly it felt super nauseous. Ugh. And then, when I looked up, this beautiful girl was reflected in the mirror. Huh? Who is she? Good morning, viewers. Well, apparently, that visualization phenomenon has started again. This time, the face of the person you kissed the day before appears over your forehead. So, let's get out on the streets and interview some people, shall we? Oh, this person? That's a lover I met a while ago. Actually, we had our first kiss yesterday. When I go to school, all the kids will know. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm fine with it because he's my boyfriend. What I can't forgive is... Who the hell is that girl? This is not what it looks like. She's just... you know... She's just what? Kiss some girl. Sure looks suspicious. No, really. It's nothing serious. Yeah. <laughs> she is a beaut, ain't she? She's a hostess at a bar I always go to. I'm an old geezer for sure, but I'm still a ladies' man. At school, all everyone was talking about was this so-called visualization stuff. Man, if Hayato sees me, wonder what he'd say. Nothing good for sure. And anyway, who is this girl? I gotta say, she's pretty good looking, and I have no idea who the hell she is. <sighs> Where the hell is Hayato anyways? Not that I want to see him. Knowing him, he usually comes looking for me just to show off what kind of pretty girl he kissed the night before. But who the hell is this girl? Wonder if I drank too much last night, then had an accident or something, and then ended up kissing someone. I was going nuts trying to recall what happened, but I just come up blank. This whole thing will probably blow over by tomorrow and all will be forgotten. So, I decided just to put the whole incident out of my mind. The next morning, I looked into the mirror figuring I hadn't kissed anybody the night before so there would be no visualization. But, gotta say, she was cute. Probably never see that pretty face again. Huh? Holy smokes! Why is she here again? I don't recall kissing anybody last night. I'm positive I didn't. But on my forehead, that girl was visible. What the hell is going on? But even the next day, she still appeared. And the next day, and the next. Whenever I went into the bathroom, her face could be seen over my forehead. Man, this is creeping me out. What the hell? I haven't kissed anyone. I didn't even meet anybody in the last few days. I was so creeped out and frightened that I decided to stay awake all night and make sure I did not kiss anyone. I haven't kissed anyone. Yeah, I was up all night. I'm positive I did not kiss anyone. That morning... Oh, what a relief. Nothing. Man, that really creeped me out. What was up with that? I was so relieved that the girl's face no longer appeared, and I was so sleepy that I... fell onto the bed and conked out. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. I really slept like a log. What the hell? It seemed that whenever I fell asleep, the woman would appear over my forehead. Uh, am I going to have to stay awake forever? But to have a beautiful girl appear over your forehead is something that I should be grateful for. But it scares me that a person, a complete stranger's face, appears over my forehead. I can't stand it. Uh, but how am I going to stay awake every night? That's impossible. I will fall asleep at some point. Uh, what am I going to do? Hey, Hayato. Long time no see, man. You haven't been around for a while. Was getting kind of worried for you, dude. Yeah, 
well, been a bit busy. So where's this pretty girl you said you started dating? Come on, man. What's she look like? Show us! Huh? I yeah, I don't have time now. Hey, Dio! What the hell are you hiding? Give us a peek, dude. Just because you haven't kissed anybody. <laughs> don't go hiding your forehead, man. Or did you manage to kiss some boring girl like yourself? Come, y'all. Let's take a look at Dio's forehead. This'll be a blast. <laughs> hey, man. Cut it out. Leave me alone. Holy crap! She's a friggin' beauty! Oh man, why? Where'd you meet such a pretty babe? Come on man, fess up! Forget that! Why the hell can you, of all people, kiss such a beautiful girl? Makes no sense! Hey Hayato, show us your babe! Show this guy who's got the hotter babe! Nah, uh, I better not. I mean, she is so beautiful that it would be much too shocking for this guy. Uh, kinda feel sorry for him. I better get going, guys. Come on, Hayato. Come on, Hayato. Quit screwing around. Show us, bro. The woman that appeared on Hayato's forehead was a girl that was not really that beautiful, to say the least. Too beautiful to show? Too shocking, huh? Well, I guess you can say that. You're <laughs> some Romeo, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is my super hot girlfriend. So what? Hell with you guys. She kept begging me to kiss her, so I gave in and kissed, and that continued every day. Then it just got more and more visualized. Figured if I stayed home, it would eventually go away. I couldn't do that forever. My grades were suffering too. I didn't know what to do. I'm going crazy. Huh? So that's what Hayato's girlfriend looks like. Man, I never could have imagined that. One month later, it's been one month since this visualization phenomenon started. I'm sure everyone has lived this past month with some uneasiness. Some with joy, perhaps. Okay, let's walk downtown and interview people on the street. Yeah, it is kind of embarrassing, I suppose. But my wife's face appears over my forehead every day, so... I feel as though my wife is with me all day long. Makes me very happy, if you want to know the truth. There was... There was a guy's face above my precious daughter's forehead. I pressed her on it, and it turns out he... He was her boyfriend. They're talking about getting married, for God's sake. My precious sweet daughter... Uh, is gonna be taken from me by that no good... Uh, I can't take it anymore. My assigned guy says that I'm the only one, but... A whole bunch of other girls appeared on his forehead. Changes every day. We're finished. Huh? Yeah? A sign guy? By that, I mean the guy at the host bar. Ugh, maybe it was for the better. Gave me a reason to stop going to those guys' bars. Gave me a reason to stop going to those guy bars. Cost too much anyways. And that's how it all went. Just as it started, out of the blue, the strange visualization phenomenon abruptly ended. Then one day... <sighs> well, it all ended. I wonder who that girl was. Will I ever find out? That wasn't some ghost or evil spirit or something. No, no way. Uh, excuse me, can I order? Yes, of course. I'll be right over. Uh, oops! Huh? You are... You're that girl that was... I mean, who appeared on my forehead. Uh, <laughs> guess I'm busted. It was an unexpected surprise. I suddenly came face to face with a woman who was, uh, how can I put this, haunting my dreams. So sorry to keep you waiting. So, what's this all about? What happened, if I may ask? My dad owns the apartment you live in. And by the way, I also go to the same university as you, Ryo. I always see you getting harassed by Hayato and his buddies. Seeing that, I was really pissed off at that guy and how he always treated you. That day at the party, you were really drunk and completely out of it, so I figured I'd help you out. So, what was up with that visualization stuff? Why did your face keep showing up? Well, in order to help you out, I snuck into your room and kissed you. What? Are you serious? But then, why do you look like that now but different in the visualization? Well, gotta change my appearance. 
I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. Yeah, well, I guess I can understand that. You know what? Kissing you every day kind of made me want to see you more. You got some time, right? Let's go on a date. Huh? Come on, Rio. Let's get going. Oh, all right. Uh, lead away. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. No, it's fine. Wow, real good-looking dude. Hey, Ryo, be happy now. Huh? That guy, who was he? How did he know my name? Come on, Ryo, get a move on! Yeah, uh, coming. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!